Hi, this is Kote with Red Monk. This is going to be a quick and hopefully not too loose uh, screencast about how you can make the XML file you need and do the associated wiring up of uh, adding in a little search thing to the the, the uh, Firefox search uh, bar. And what I'm going to be using is Google Co-op because what that lets you do is use Google and then put in all of the URLs of the websites that you want to search over. And uh, in the post for this, I'll have a bunch of URLs for everything, so you don't have to worry about where the URLs are at the moment. So the thing that I started with was this page on uh, the Mozilla Developer Center about creating open search plugins. And essentially what it shows you is take this XML file. This is a great cut and paste coding, by the way. You just take this XML file and fill out all this stuff. And so you just have a short name and a description and, and blah, blah, blah. And so one of the sort of weird things uh, when we get to it, is how you have an image in here. And what you do is you have to convert any sort of icon or image that you would want into a, uh, <coughs> excuse me, a base 64 encoded chunk of text. So it's just a big, meaningless chunk of text, meaningless to people. But what you can do is you go to this URL, which I'm doing right now, and uh, then what you'll do is you'll select a file here. And as I recall, you want to select a let's go to Red Monk. You want to select a um, a 16 by 16 file, which I made one down here. So we do that, and then we say generate, and then it's a uh, work and its magic. And then what you'll want to do is just copy this lengthy thing right here, and you can do that by just right clicking and saying copy link location. And as I recall, that's all you do for that. So, now let's go back a little bit. Oh, open up your favorite text editor and just cut and paste this chunk of text right here. And also keep that little uh, that piece of text that we had uh, from the icon thing. So I've already got stuff all pre-filled out here because who wants to watch me pre-fill out everything? And I'll have this file available on there as well. <clears throat> but what the first thing that I do is uh, go to the icon and I paste in that big piece of text that I had for this big giant thing right here. And then I've added in, you know, it's going to be called Red Monk and search over Red Monk and so forth and so on. And I probably shouldn't have uh, left that like that, but things seem to be working anyways. So now the next difficult thing is you have to tell it how to make the URL for the search that it's doing, right? And you have to do a little bit of reverse engineering, so to speak, for that. And the way that I did that is I'll just go back to Firefox and so here's the Google Co-op page that I created. You can see it's searching over these links. So all that I did was I did an example search, and let's just say example, and I typed that in. And so this is a real search that it's doing. And then what I did in order to come up with that is I copied the URL, and then let's just, for example, bring it back in here, and I'm going to uh, add in a commented section. Let's uncomment that because it's a little a little clunky. And so what you'll be able to see is that so at first you take the URL all the way up to the first question mark, and hopefully the only question mark, and you put that right here as the template, and you make sure that you have get there. And then what you're going to do is each of these parameters are a different name value pair that will be submitted. And so you're going to start breaking up each of the name value pairs. And in URLs, the way that you delimit or separate name value pairs is with an ampersand character. And you can see that right here. So you can see that the first parameter that I took was this CX. And I just say the name is CX. And then I take whatever this value was, just some junk, and I put it there. And then, you know, I took SA, search, and whatever the COF thing is, and so forth and so on. But now the tricky thing is, is you need to find out, well, how does it know that I typed an example? And people who use Google a lot, they know that the CGI parameter, or the URL, whatever you want to call it, the parameter is always Q for your query. So you can see that down here I've taken Q, and example is just what I was searching for. But there's a special little magic thing you do for this file, and you put in the curly braces and search terms with the T capitalized. And uh, that's pretty much how you pull apart the URL. It's a little uh, tedious process, and it might take some trial and error. So then what you do is you upload this to your website somewhere. And you can just use an FTP program or whatever to do that. So what we'll do is we'll go to my blog, slash Kote, 
<clears throat> and once you've uploaded it to your site somewhere, just somewhere that everyone can download it because they need to be downloading this chunk of XML, you're going to actually take whatever web page you want to be enabled with the search. And you, there's a separate screencast I had about adding the uh, the search engine, but you can see that whenever you go to a page that has this plugin in it, uh, it gives you the option to add Redmonk search, which I've already done. So what we're going to do is we're going to view the source for my page here because I put something in the head section or the headers, so to speak, not the headers to be confused with HTTP ones, but in in the uh, the beginning part of the page in HTML. So you'll actually have to open up whatever your template is or your main page or something like that. And I forget actually what the, here it is. It's this line right here. So again, you add this, you can see this is in the head section of your page. And you just say it's search and uh, it's an open description sort of thing. I mean, an open search description. And then you give it a title, which I'm not really sure if it pays attention to that. And then you put in the URL where you uploaded that actual XML file. So. I FTP'd to my site and I went to the proper directory so that whenever you type in request this you'll get that big chunk of XML file. And then once you save your page and republish it if you're using a, a blog format, a, a, a blog publishing platform or whatever, then like I was saying whenever you go there you'll see that there's this little dot here and you can add that in. So just reviewing really quickly, I started out with this page just to like kind of learn how to do, uh, do all the stuff. And uh, we made that with that little funky thing by getting the, that huge chunk of text for the icon. And then I just cut and pasted this this uh, XML chunk into something. And it's a little tragic they don't have a, uh, oh, look, and I don't have valid XML. Well, I do, but you just can't really see it that well. So then I went in and added that huge uh, icon thing, that string of the converted icon into there. And you also want to make sure to delete this. You don't want to leave that in your XML file because that would just be terrible. So here's what the real XML file should look like. And then I got the URL from, from Google Co-op, and I'd created a Google Co-op account, which is a whole other process. And I just pulled apart the URL to be the main part of the URL, and I forget the technical term for that, from my URLogy or whatever. And then I took each of the name value pairs, and I split those up into params with a name and a value, and then put in the magic search term thing there. And then I added it to my, uh, my page, and that was it. And now you can go there and uh, type in a search. So you can say something like search and see what all the Red Monk people are uh, talking about search.